If only the world of football could press the restart button. In 365 days, a year's time, the European football president, Michel Platini, will open the European Championship in France. By then, he might also be FIFA president. But then again, he might not. Remember this, the surprise arrest of senior FIFA executives just two weeks ago. No one knows what exactly will happen next, not least Monsieur Platini. Things are happening at the moment. I've said one day I'll speak about it. You'll all be invited. But that's for when I know something about it. Today, I know nothing. I know nothing is more or less what the Russians said when FIFA investigated corruption into the 2018 World Cup bid. As we all know, Russia won, hosting a FIFA inspection visit today in Samara, one of the 2018 host cities. But now the FBI and the Swiss authorities think there's a case to answer. In fact, every single World Cup since 98 is now under investigation in some way. So FIFA, perhaps wisely, said today the vote for the 2026 World Cup should be postponed. There was an, uh, the, the, the decision to um, allocate this World Cup in 2017 and to start the bidding process soon. Um, due to the situation, I think it's a nonsense uh, to start any bidding process for the time being, and we will postpone uh, this bidding process uh, for, again, the time being. Nonsense, delay, postpone. Enter the next topic, that $10 million alleged bribe during the 2010 World Cup bid from South Africa to an account controlled by Jack Warner, an ex-FIFA man wanted in the USA for racketeering, a payment said to be authorised by none other than FIFA's Secretary General, Jerome Valk, who today emphatically denied responsibility. You have decided that after Blatter, I have to be the cut, to be uh, the, the head to be cut. Fine, I mean, but say it. Uh, but don't use these ten millions because these ten millions have nothing, nothing about these ten millions where I have made any mistake and where I feel responsible. Travelling nowhere today, Sepp Blatter. Certainly not to Canada, where the Women's World Cup is currently in full swing. Canada sharing a convenient border with the USA. Some have remarked. Surely after all these allegations, it's time for you to resign. Mr. Blatter has, of course, now resigned, kind of, but has since tweeted pictures apparently still hard at work. And today, FIFA said the president will stay in post until December, when his replacement will finally be chosen, if indeed he lasts that long. FIFA confirming in the last hour that they've handed over more computers today to Swiss investigators.